I'll say it again, mate, get stuffed. You and your mates, until you open your mouth and clean up your own culture, you have no right, you have no grounds, you have no standing to criticise special forces. So crawl back under your bloody hole, Brereton, and understand that nobody gives a rat's ass what you think about us. You and your mates can go to hell. Next question. I had a bit more information come out about the Afghan report. Well, any progress? The veteran community and the average Australians are apoplectic, rightly so. There are calls for Angus Campbell to be sacked. He's the Chief of the Defence Force, General Angus Campbell. There are calls for Lieutenant General Rick Burt, Chief of Army, to be sacked for both uh, the handling of this and the conflict of interest. I support both of those, but that's not up to me. But I can tell you what, it would be a step forward. Yeah. So everyone beneath them realises there are consequences to bad decisions. Mm. But let's just leave that to one side because that's, that's getting some, some headway. Let's, let's take a slightly different tack on this. Admiral Barry is a former Chief of the Defence Force and he came out and he was um, making all sorts of terrible allegations about Special Forces culture. Admiral Barry probably served the Navy with distinction. But he was an embarrassment as a Chief of the Defence Force and later in life because this guy was a, a fully paid-up member of the left green lunatic agenda. And he claimed that um, climate change is one of the major threats for the short to medium term that the defence had to come to grips with. <laughs> so, again, when you hear the criticism, Barry criticising special forces, look at who's making the criticism, then ask the question, who is this buffoon? Admiral Barry, you're an embarrassment. We knew it. We kept our mouths shut. We should have said something at the time. But there you go. That's another one issue. And let's, let's talk about um, Justice Brereton, who did the actual inquiry. Yeah, Brereton had made the breathtaking um, assessment about special forces culture needing to be examined, removed, destroyed, mm. clean it out, destroy mm. the special forces community. Mm. Well, people should have a look at Justice Brereton's background, find out why he was asked to do the job and why he would make such claims. The interesting background to Justice Brereton. Who's he connected to? Which organisations is he connected to? But more importantly, Justice Burton, you blowhard, you imposter, you pumped up nothing. You're talking about special forces culture. Well, I can tell you, mate, every one of those men is twice the man you'll ever be. Ever be. They have more integrity, more courage, more stamina, more everything than you. And you want to talk about special forces culture, mate. Okay, how about this? Have a look at the, the culture of the legal fraternity in Australia, where you and every one of your mates has been silent on these 28 VIP pedophiles that I mentioned earlier. Every lawyer and judge in this country is aware of what's going on, and not one of you says a thing. You are cowards to a man. Every last one of you. So, Justice Burton, you can get stuffed until you open your mouth and say something about the pedophiles that run it. And I'm not interested in judges that retire and then speak out. Show some stones, because you haven't got any. And how dare you criticise the special forces culture where the culture of the legal fraternity in Australia is awash with cocaine and pedophilia. And you and your fat, lazy mates say nothing about it. The Chief Justice of the Family Court put on a dinner one night and had some females dressed in judicial robes um, simulating sexual acts. And this is the actions of a Chief Justice? And nothing happened to her, did it? Diana Bryant, nothing happened. And you have the temerity to call out the culture of the Australian Special Forces. I'll say it again, mate, get stuffed. You and your mates, until you open your mouth and clean up your own culture, you have no right, you have no grounds, you have no standing to criticise Special Forces. So crawl back under your bloody hole, Brereton and understand that nobody gives a rat's ass what you think about us. You and your mates can go to hell. Next question. Warrior ethos. You know, his attacks that make this, they just kind of make me sound like, it's like toxic masculinity, you know? We've got to slam toxic masculinity. Or maybe he lost his testicles somewhere along the track. I think you're onto something. I think I might be. Maybe <laughs> he identifies as a 16-year-old girl, Justice Burton. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Easy, easy to prove me wrong, mate. What a piece of Call work. out the names. Yeah. yeah. Call out your own culture. Exactly. We don't enjoy doing this. Just do your damn job, and then we don't have to cover this. I, there's, there's better things to cover, I'm sure you'd agree. Like this. 